Um, I got involved in student housing in the early 1990s. Um, we started off valuing with very little evidence to, to, to go on for about 10 years. There were no real deals. Um, eventually, though, we saw transactions begin in the UK. And as time went on, people started being just a little less skeptical about student housing as a serious sector. And then really from about 2008, 2009 onwards, people have really begun to notice it. We've trundled along with about two billion pounds a year of transactions in the UK over the last few years. And then last year, we saw quite a big jump to around about five and a half billion of transactions just in the UK. Uh, this year, not likely to be as high as that because that actually was about 35% of the private purpose-built sector, excluding the university dorms. Um, but given that there are some very substantial portfolio transactions going through at the moment, I think we'll still likely to be three billion plus, which is pretty, pretty substantial. And there are still parties who have yet to make their first acquisition in the sector who are trying really hard to get hold of stock. And they're all looking at Europe as well. It's no longer just about the UK. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Christoph. Great. So I work in the, uh, the corporate finance team um, on the UK real estate side in, in London at JP Morgan Kazanov. And um, we have gained experience over the last couple of years through our involvement as corporate finance advisor to the Unite Group. Um, we have acted for Unite um, on you know, numerous capital market transactions. Um, and so we have sort of followed the success story of Unite um, as it was over the last sort of 10 years or so uh, alongside the whole sector, how it transformed really on the capital market side. Um, we have more recently also acted as um, advisors to uh, the Wellcome Trust on the formation of Vero Group, which is the now the second largest UK uh, student accommodation business together with Goldman uh, Sachs and Greystar. And um, so we, we've seen this sector also growing and transforming really into an institutional asset class which, um, you know, offers a very attractive return, income return profile and which uh, is very high in demand, especially for equity market investors as well as direct market investors. Great, thank you. Thomas. Yeah, thank you. I'm a CIO of Corset Capital AG, so we have two brands in... Uh, uh, in Germany, it's uh, called Unique. We started our business six years ago, so we are just operating 3,000 beds in uh, Germany. Uh, we have a second brand, it's called Link Living. Uh, we are operating there 800 units in uh, Vienna, and now we're just entering uh, the Spain market for, for student homes, especially in uh, Madrid and uh, Barcelona. Great, thank you. Bedouin. Hi, Bodon Aport, Jessina. I'm in charge of uh, investment and development for the student housing portfolio. Uh, Jessina is a listed, a real estate listed company in France uh, with uh, assets of 12 billion euros. And student housing is very, very small business inside this company, but uh, still growing. We started in 2008. We have uh, quite a unique model in France because we own and manage with our own. Uh, uh, management company which is Campus Ea. We have 2,500 beds right now, more than 1,000 on pipeline, and uh, mainly Paris, Parisian region, and some big cities in France. Great, thank you. Stephen. Hello, uh, my name is Stephen Zeman, uh, Managing Director for Greystar Continental Europe. Uh, Greystar is an American company. We entered the UK market uh, two to three years ago with uh, buying bits and pieces of the Opal portfolio. After that, uh, we also added the, the Nido assets in, in London. Well, already it was mentioned that uh, part of the UK assets are now merged with Wellcome Trust. So I think we have in the UK uh, more than 20,000 bets and we do the operations ourselves. And the model is uh, based on the US where you have on-site operations, which is a little bit different than the traditional model, but we think it provides the opportunity to give more service and uh, keep the amenities at a higher level for the student experience. Um, last year we started our activities in uh, the Netherlands. We bought our first uh, project in Amsterdam, the, the Campus Demon, um, close to 1,000 beds, and there we now have a development pipeline 
of uh, close to 2,000 student units in strategic locations in the in the Randstad area, so the Amsterdam, Rotterdam, uh, Utrecht. And over time, we would like to grow into Europe, but uh, working on that. Great, thank you, Felix. Uh, Felix Bauer from uh, DREF. We have been working on the student housing market in Germany for the last 10 years. In the last 15 months, we have built up a portfolio of 3,200 beds. Um, and we have a pipeline of about 2,000 beds closing in the next months. Um, and we're looking into growing in the next uh, two, two to three years to about 10,000 beds. Rainer Nongesser from MPC. We have uh, launched our development and operations platform named Stay2 15 months ago. We have currently five projects under development, out of which we will bring two to the market summer this year. Uh, 